Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to be doing a demonstration with Windows 8 on a touch screen device. And I apologize if you can't exactly see me in the video because I had to make sure I could get the um, screen here in the video. But anyways, this is a HP TouchSmart computer and it has Windows 8 Pro installed. And I currently have it on the lock screen. But anyways, um, I've made many videos criticizing Windows 8 for not doing so well on desktop PCs or any other device that does not have a touch screen. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a demonstration and see how it does on the touch screen. And I've done some messing around with it and I'm actually pretty pleased with the Metro interface on a touch screen device. I'm not saying I'm very satisfied with it, but it works good for what it is. If you want, um, if you like you to use smartphones and tablets and stuff, I'd say there's nothing wrong with having this Metro interface when you have a touch screen device. But I still prefer there be a start menu available for when you're using the keyboard and mouse. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. This is the start screen in Windows 8 if you haven't seen it yet. It's a very confusing big mess if you're new to Windows 8, but it takes a bit of getting used to. Of course, there's not that much here right now. Kind of hard to do this when I'm at an angle, but I'm trying to get this. There we go. Hit all apps, and you'll be able to see everything. The system only has the basic programs and stuff installed. Over here are your pretty much your programs and stuff that you would typically install. Over here are your Metro apps, like the smartphone apps and stuff. I'll be demonstrating those a little bit in this video, but I'm just going to show you. Um, go back to the main screen and we'll hit desktop. This takes you to the desktop and of course you can use the keyboard and the mouse, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Here's a touch keyboard if you ever need it. Anyways, this is what the desktop looks like. Just your typical desktop minus the familiar start button and start menu. Go back to the start screen. I'm going to demonstrate a few apps here. First, I'll try the um, the photos. Of course, I've only got the stock Windows photos and on the computer right now. There's nobody. There's no um, files on this computer yet because it's really my uncle's computer and I'm not going to show his pictures and stuff yet so I haven't I haven't moved files and stuff back over yet but anyways it, you have access to pictures library, sky drive photos, devices, Facebook of course none of this is even set up it's just pretty much um, fresh out of the box nothing's really been set up anyways try to close this out the very confusing thing is you're supposed to you're supposed to tap and pull, but you never seem to be able to get it just right. It thinks you want to drag left and right. It could be this touch screen. Not very sure. There it goes. I'll start up the camera. This thing does have a webcam. And you can barely see me over here. And there's the camera. There's the displays for the mid tower deluxe. And yeah, you can see the messy room. I got a pile of clothes I need to fold and stuff on the bed and everything else. But um, this is the camera. You have video mode. Where you can just go with, um, you can look at camera options. You can select an audio device. Select your resolution. Webcam's not that special. It can only do uh, 480p. Try to close this out. And let me go and show you the news. This is the Bing news. Now, I, I kind of like this because it's like looking at a newspaper. The way it works, it, it's, it's kind of like looking at your local newspaper. It's still loading more stuff. I tell you what's crazy is how. When Microsoft designed these apps, they included advertisements in with them. Like, for example, let's see if I can find one. There's your um, Chevy advertisement. And of 
course back to the cover page. Let's see. Pull up the music. And these apps were pretty much updated. I updated them all recently. And what I'll need to do is I'll need to go in and set Internet Explorer as a default browser to show you the um, Internet Explorer 10. This is the um, Xbox Music. It's kind of funny how they never changed this over to something like, I don't know, Windows Music or something. I mean, Xbox is Microsoft's game console. So it doesn't make too much sense. And let's see. Now this computer's not synced with a Microsoft account, so it's going to say, I'm just going to cancel that. I'll show you the weather app. Now this is pretty neat. Once you get this set up and ready to go, it's actually pretty useful. Set to a different place and see there's your there's your um another ad. This is for Jeep. It's funny these are um auto ads today. Of course you have your um, home screen. When you pull over, you have your hourly forecast, your radar, historical weather, averages, and another advertisement. I think this touch screen has a whole lot to do with why um, these apps can be kind of hard to close out. But um, let's see here. I know I'm not Let me go and show you the um, store. This is where you actually go to get new apps and stuff. Try not to scroll so fast so you can actually see everything. Now for somebody who likes using a tablet or has a smartphone, they regularly use their smartphone, and they happen to have a computer like this with a touch screen, this is pretty neat, but for real productivity and stuff that you really use a computer for, this actually gets in the way. But if you just want to relax and just mess with stuff, like you do on your tablet, this is not so bad. Now, of course, they, uh, Microsoft even has Office programs in here. And some of these apps cost money, money, some of them are free. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff in here. And I imagine this is probably the most this touchscreen has ever been used. This computer come to me with a um, corrupt install Windows 7. It wouldn't even get past the starting Windows um, screen. It was messed up, so I asked um, Monk if he wanted to try out Windows 8 because I actually was able to get it for him, so I figured I'd let him try it out. And you can actually um, pan out and get a bigger look at your start screen, that kind of stuff. But let me go ahead and get Internet Explorer set up for um, set Internet Explorer's default browser just temporarily because I prefer to have Google Chrome set as default but Internet Explorer 10 has a nice um, touch interface so I'm going to demonstrate that so what I'll do is back to the start screen I'm so used to clicking start to go to start menu to access it see this is this is the real problem with Windows 8 if they don't left the um, the start screen, I mean the start menu available, along with the start screen, things will be much better. If you had the best of both worlds, it'd make this operating system much better. Here's Internet Explorer. Now let me go ahead and set that to the default browser. Okay, now Internet Explorer is the default browser. So I'm going to do is demonstrate Interact Explorer 10. I 
the way it works. That way you can see the touch keyboard and everything. I'm going to go to YouTube and show you your channel. Of course, I've already been there one time, so I had it saved. And here's Q Computer Channel. And of course they say NRX 410 is touch friendly, which it really does seem touch friendly. To go back a page, you just pull. Actually, not like that, but um, let me see. Yep, here we go. Now if you notice something that actually doesn't seem to make much sense is I'm having to reach and do things. And that's why I criticize Microsoft for trying to put touch on a computer. Now if this is a handheld tablet, this wouldn't be such a problem, but anyways. Let me just show you. <clears throat> Bit of videos. It's going. Here's the here's how videos look. to about and here's something I've been wanting to show everybody on Cube Computer Channel because here lately I've been having some issues with people posting comments that contain foul language and stuff although YouTube itself doesn't have such a big policy about that um, basically I prefer to try to keep Cube Computer Channel clean for users of all ages so when you go to the About tab on my channel page and you click the link, it'll take you to my Facebook page where the article is at. And please take the time to read through this. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll show you my uh, Facebook page too for Q Computer Company. Now, of course, you shouldn't have to even be logged in to access this. You're still you're still able to see it even without logging in to Facebook. And be honest with you, the um, Facebook timeline looks kind of funny on this browser. You got all this empty space here on both sides. But this is the Q Computer Company Facebook page. Recommend you check that out and give it a like. I try to keep it updated, but sometimes I may not post for a while. Depends on how busy I am. But this little watermark here is hiding this, but you see, um, if you look at the cover page, um, the, the cover photo. It's a Q computer that's been around for seven years. Anyways, um, let's try and demonstrate IE10. Now, switch tabs in this browser. You have to pull down to get your tabs. Now, with touch, this makes sense, but when using the mouse, this gets right in the way. I'll close out this tab. Go back to the, this tab go back to videos and be honest my arm is starting to feel tired <clears throat> from doing all this touching but I'll pull up a video this in here is really funny but it um, this video here is pretty funny time Warner cable restricts what the paying user can do with record TV I recommend you go watch that it's pretty funny but I'm, I'm dead serious with this Anyways, um, I'm going to exit out of this. And let me go and show you what Google Chrome looks like in the Metro interface. Now I gotta go set it as a default browser and do another thing. Except this is default. And in Google Chrome, you have to go over here to settings. And click re relaunch Chrome in Windows 8 mode. Now I prefer to keep in the desktop, but I'll show you what Chrome looks like in the um, Metro interface. 
Chrome looks just about the same as it always has. So let's go back to Q Computer Channel <clears throat> again. Notice we don't have a touch keyboard. So Chrome really isn't that user friendly in terms of a touch screen device. You have to use the keyboard. Anyways. Notice I'm touching here and it, um oh now we got the keyboard. Doesn't work very well. The Chrome browser doesn't work very well with the um with touch. Because I'm trying to keep this pulled up and basically the keyboard just jumps and goes away. So I'm gonna set um Chrome back to the desktop environment. So if you're using Chrome, you're better off in a desktop environment because you can tap here to get your keyboard. And here's a problem with touch. Especially when you're messing with small um, small menu buttons, touch can be very aggravating. So you're better off just using the mouse. Anyways, um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little demonstration of Windows 8 on a touch screen. Anyways, um, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. Um, with a touch screen, it works fairly well, but for the majority of computers out there that don't have touch screens, this gets right in the way. And I'm afraid to say with Windows 8.1, which is Windows Blue, they're saying they're going to bring back the start button, but it's just going to take you back to this instead of a start menu. I'm guessing it will take another release or two for Microsoft to finally figure out what PC users want. But if you have something like a touch mark, this works pretty well. So anyways, that wraps up my little video about Windows 8 on a touch screen device. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.